What's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show, and we have not been in front of this camera in quite some time. We've also not been in front of this camera the way that we are here today, getting ready to draw some mug shots. We're going to be drawing not just one mug shot, not three mug shots, but I was going to try to hit the touch them two times Tommy reference right there. We're actually going to be trying to draw three mug shots up in this video. Trust me when I tell you, you're going to want to see these three mug shots and who exactly we're going to be drawing. Also, I usually do this as the Joe Ross, but there's a number of reasons why I'm not going to do that today. One, we're going to try this just doing this as old Joe himself. It's really hard to be drawing and trying to talk like Bob Ross at the same time. Number two, it is super hot up in here today. I don't know if the HVAC system got stolen by old Brian, but it's most certainly not on. That probably was not that great of a joke. And then the final reason why I want to do this as myself, we're going to be doing things a lot different in this mugshot drawing video. Usually when I do this, I'm Joe Ross and I'm on the canvas right here with the pencil first, sketching it in, then going back with the marker. Folks, I've been drawing all weekend, really trying to sharpen my skills, drawing with only the marker straight to the canvas first, and then doing whatever we need to do to finalize the piece thereafter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you these probably are not going to be perfect caricatures. It is my hope to be somewhere in the wheelhouse with these drawings, but we'll just have to wait and see how these things come out. It's also intimidating knowing that I'm going to be filming all of this and sharing it with you guys as well. Also, one final thing real quick, folks, if you would like me to draw a custom cartoon or caricature for you, please visit the official After Prison Show website, APSOfficial.com. The link is down below, and it's there where you can place your order, tell me what you want me to draw, and I will definitely look forward to being able to create something special just for you. Let's go ahead and look at these three mug shots we're getting ready to draw in this video, starting with this first one right, Chia. Definitely some interesting tattoos all over the face right there, especially that one across the forehead. What does that say? Genius? I'm not really thinking that you are given the fact that you found yourself up in a mug shot. But hey, I don't honestly know what this guy got locked up for. Maybe it was a misunderstanding, a mistaken identity. Maybe there's another guy running around with the same tattoo, genius, tattooed on his forehead. And also, don't miss what he's got tattooed right there on his neck. Omerta. I think that's Italian for like code of silence, code of honor, the street code, something like that. I actually looked it up, so I'm pretty sure uh, that's what it means, like the code of silence. You got to wonder though, did this guy remain silent after he was booked? Surely hope he did with that tattoo right there on his neck. But hey, we've seen crazier things. Like with this second mugshot that we're going to draw, I don't even want to draw this guy. The only reason we're doing so, I'm not even going to lie, we're going to chase some clout with this. This is probably going to be on the thumbnail as well. And I also need to tell you guys, I've already attempted to draw this guy twice. And both times, they didn't really come out so well. The only way you could tell who it was is because of the skittled color hair and those big ass six nines on his face and neck. I'm going to try to do better in this video. And finally, the third mugshot that we're going to draw. Hey, why not? We got to draw this mugshot. This guy right here. And if you don't know who this guy is and you haven't been keeping up with the Felon Flipper series here on After Prison Show where we've been attempting to flip our first house. Well, this guy right here is the very first contractor that I hired as my general contractor who ended up running off with $4,000. Now, I wish I could tell you this is the most recent mugshot of this guy where he has actually been apprehended for the charges that I pressed on him, sort of like Takashi 69 but I can't say that. I don't know when this mugshot was, probably from a previous construction fraud charge that this guy has had. And I've got no idea what's going on with his case right now with the charges that I've put on him. Those are the three mugshots we're going to be drawing in this video. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and put pin straight to the canvas and see what kind of magic we can create. We got a nice little drawing pin right here, drawing marker. This is a Copic pin. It's got a fine point. And on the other side, it's got a, like a brush tip on it. And one thing about drawing these caricatures, you really want to find a pen that you're comfortable with or a pencil. You know, I use Sharpie quite a bit, but this thing right here, I don't know. I've just been really enjoying using this marker right here. Folks, let's go ahead and start with this mugshot right cheer, old genius. And let's see what kind of magic 
we can make happen. Now again, folks, I've got no idea why this guy's locked up. And if you guys got any idea, any thoughts, you know, please comment down in the comment section and let me know what you think. Also, while doing these caricatures with straight marker, I do these totally different than with the pencil. With the pencil, I, I sketch in the shape of the head first. I don't do that anymore. Now I start with the features. More importantly, I start with the eyes. So let's go ahead and put some eyes on this canvas. Let's go ahead and move that camera so my shoulder ain't all up in the way. All right. Let's go ahead and put these eyeballs up in there. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Joe, those don't look exactly like his eyes. Well, if you're thinking that, you're probably right. But one thing about it, we're going to try to pull it all together by the time it's said and done. All right, so now I'm shaping, shaping the pupils up in here. All right, two little eyeballs right there. This guy's got a pretty oblong-shaped nose, so we definitely got to make sure that we capture that. Bang, bang. Ah, there we go. I'm not going to lie to you. It is intimidating drawing this straight with the marker only. But like I said, I've been doing a little bit of practicing with this. And maybe as we continue to do this, I'll get even better. But you guys keep me posted as to what you think as we're getting this picture put on the canvas. Go ahead and put that mouth up in there. Look at them lips right there. Boy, you got you some purdy lips. Definitely wouldn't say that to them if I ever saw them in person. Those are some big pouty ass lips. There we go. You're probably like, oh my God, Joe, you're missing the mark already. So this is about where I get to. I want to do one more thing real quick. Put them eyebrows up in there. Bing. Bang, and now let's go ahead and switch over to the brush tip. We were using the fine tip for these initial features. This guy's got a pretty basic shaped head. We want to make sure that we leave enough room in the forehead area for that genius tattoo that he's got right there. So let's go ahead and just start shaping in a pretty basic head with a kind of a pointy chin area. All right, there we go. Bang. Also, let's leave a little room for that goatee got going on right there as well. Let's get that neck up in there while we got a chance to do so. Make sure we leave enough room for that Omerta tattoo. That's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. He's got some little baby ears, but at least you can see his ears when he's looking forward. All right. I did not mean to make this dude's head so big, but hopefully we're gonna be able to pull that back together with, with his hair. Little baby ears right there. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm wishing I could have done just a little bit better. You think we're gonna be able to salvage this? Hopefully we will. I don't see too much of a shape up going on right here. I see it a little bit on this side. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, let's get that goatee going. I think it's got a little bit of that going right there too. Kind of got the Joe beard going on. They say if you're a grown man with a chin strap in 2020, that's a little suspect, but Touche. All right, and then bing! Big old chin piece right there. All right, doesn't look great. I will admit that, but let's see if we can make do with what we got. So, like I said, I'm using just straight marker. You know what? I don't even think that looks that bad. For a cartoon, that's pretty spot on. Forgot to do something. Really define those eyeballs right there. Hopefully you guys are getting a good view with the new over the can over the shoulder camera. Uh, we actually bought a new camera just to be able to make sure that it doesn't get so blurry. 
So hopefully we got that going on. I'm sweating like I'm on drugs up in here. Let's put a little definition to the nostrils right there. Not so bad. All right. Like I said, I'm usually just using the marker drawing this, but when it comes to the tattoos, I want to make sure I can fit this so genius. When I first saw this tattoo, I was like, man, did he spell that right? But he did. Can you imagine if they forgot a letter on his forehead? That wouldn't have been so genius. All right, got the genius tattoo right there. Some kind of a uh, Chinese lettering. I don't even know what that is right there. Something above the eyebrow right there. All right, I can just get the rest of those in there. Oh, and let me get this omerta up in here as well. Code of silence. He ain't telling nothing. Got a couple little stars on the chest right there. Maybe a blood dude. I think Takashi was a blood dude too. Or maybe he was just a friend of them. Cold deal. We got his ass. All right. Let's go ahead and use the brush tip to really put that genius tattoo up in there. Bing! Genius. I don't know what the hell tattoo that is right there. Let's go back to the fine tip. Something going on here. Looks like a, I don't know. Another tattoo right here. Another tattoo right here. And then looks like a numeral for two. A Roman numeral for two, I think is what that was. Get them eyebrows jumping. Folks, let me know what you think of this. We're actually whipping this out pretty, whipping this out. We're actually putting this together pretty quick. And that's what I like, that's what I like about being able to draw straight with the marker. And it might not be perfect, but I think it's pretty close. Omerta. I think I'm getting a little bit better. Maybe this could be the next after prison show business venture. Using the website to draw cartoons, maybe going and trying to post up down at the ocean front to draw cartoons. He's also got some kind of a tattoo right here. It looks like maybe like some smoke because he's a genius. Oh yeah. Now I know this looks not that great, but watch this. I damn. You know what? When I start these videos, I've always got like ideas for things I want to mention at the beginning of the video. I meant to start this video off saying a very special shout out to Susan who sent me these sketch pads and also that pencil set. I'm using those for this video, so thank you very much. And also to who sent me this dog father t-shirt. I'm going to be rocking all those t-shirts you guys sent to me in upcoming videos as well. But I got me a 3B pencil that's a relatively soft graphite, I do believe. So we're going to go ahead and just start working in some of this dude's features. And I'm not trying to be any type of specific. Here's the goatee right there. Let's go ahead and get that up in there. And when you draw caricatures, you know, you got to draw, you got to be able to whip them joints out pretty fast. Let's go ahead and get that dark hair up in there. So it probably took about 10 minutes on this, and that's probably because I was just talking so damn much. Joe, just shut up and draw. People don't care what you got to say. They want to see them sketches. So what if, damn it, I'm supposed to be just shutting up and drawing. What if, all right, hypothetically, I'm down at the ocean front. I'm drawing cartoons for somebody. This is the guy that sat down in front of me. I'm drawing his cartoon or his caricature. You think he's going to want to fight me after this? Yo, that ain't me. Dude, it's a cartoon rendition of you. I don't think I did too shabby. Give me my $20. I get the top part of that beard in there, the mustache. The bing. Now these lips. Let's get those shaded in pretty nicely. Another thing I forgot to tell you guys is, I said I'd been practicing straight with the marker all weekend. No pencil. Well, 
I haven't practiced drawing straight up and down like this. I've been practicing, you know, drawing like in my lap. But if you're going to be a caricature artist, you got to be able to draw on the fly and draw in any kind of a situation. This don't look like this dude at all. That's all right. Let's just keep telling ourselves that it does. If you don't think this looks like this guy, just look a little harder. I think we got him. All right, let's go ahead and dirty up the canvas a little bit using our shading stick that came in that pencil set that Susan sent to me. Thank you again very much. Get them lips nice and juicy. So you guys let me know, should I be doing these more, you know, should I be doing these like Joe Ross? Or are you guys kind of happy we got a little break from the Joe Ross? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little happy we got a break. But it ain't doing nothing to help me with how hot it is up in here. Genius! I think we... I think we bodied that right there. We all think. He's got a black t-shirt on. Let's make sure we get that in there real quick. Boom. Done. Time. How long did that take? 13 minutes. Oh, we got to do these faster. Omerta, a genius as well. I'm going to go back and edit this video because this video has to get up today. It's 10.53 as I'm filming this. And I'm going to look at this and be like, Joe, that is trash. Maybe not. All right, moving on. Go ahead and turn the page. Who are we going to draw next? Let's go ahead and draw Brian number one next. And save Takashi for the last one. Let's, let's save the clout chase for the end of this video because that's also the one that I'm dreading the most. That's not going to be an easy one to draw. And neither is Brian number one. Looking at this mugshot right here, gosh, you just look so innocent and so handsome as well. I should have known better though. You can never trust a good looking man who's in his 40s and who has a TikTok. But Joe... Don't you have a TikTok? I don't use that anymore. I do watch a lot of TikTok videos, though. These young kids, man, where they getting the money for these vehicles at? Brian, I haven't seen you since you ran off with my HVAC system. This is not the greatest quality mugshot right here, neither, but we're going to do our best to try to capture this. And if this comes out not so great, please forgive me. But one thing that I do want to try to focus on are the eyes. Just look at these innocent eyes right here. Almost looking like, what did you arrest me for? I didn't do nothing, not nothing, nothing. All right, let's go ahead and try to capture those big doll baby eyes right there. Bing! I wanna over exaggerate them a little bit. Super big pupils too. Almost in absolute shock that he's in this mug shot. You know what? We might even go up and beyond on this one. At least we're gonna try to. There we go. Can't really tell too much about the nose because the photo's kind of blown out with the exposure. So we're just gonna have to try to guesstimate that nose the best that we can. All right, he's kind of looking up a little bit so those nostrils are kind of protruding. There we go. And you know what? That's almost a smirk on his face right there. I'm trying to look at the shape his, his lips are making. He doesn't even look scared to be there. He's almost smiling. Like he thinks he's about to get away with this and be able to do this again. And he was right because he did it to me. Got those anime type eyes going on right there. All glassed over from either the crystal meth or the fact that you just can't believe you got arrested. All right, let's try to capture that. That mouthpiece. 
I wonder if anybody else captured that mouthpiece during any of them times you were ever locked up. Well, kind of pulled that, kind of pulled a little bit on that bottom lip right there. Hopefully we're going to be able to bring this back in. All right, we got the eyes, we got the nose, we got the mouth. I know it looks crazy right now, just bear with me. He's got some pretty thin eyebrows. I wonder if he plucks those for TikTok. All right, done with the thin part of the marker. Let's go to the brush tip. This dude's got a basic shape dome. So let's see if we can try to capture that the best way that we can. Let's try to pretend like we're a police sketch artist drawing this one. This one really hits home for me. Nothing too major with this head. Nothing too major. Went a little crazy right there. Hmm. I don't know, Joe. I don't know about this one. This might be one of them we got to ball up and start over with. There ain't no starting over. All right. What's going on with this? Okay. This goes over here a little bit. He's got a little bit of an edge up going on. Huh. Not too much to the ears, neither. Son of a bitch, that's Brian. That's the guy that ran off with my HVAC system. Why hasn't he been locked up yet? All right, I know, I know folks are probably saying, Joe, what the hell is that? I'm almost saying that myself. All right. He's got that orange jumper on. All right, let's bring this picture back together because I know you're thinking, I know the comment section's going ham right now. Joe, what are you doing? I'll try to add a little definition to that. To that hair he's got. Shit, it almost looks like me. Except not really at all. God, I ain't seen this guy in so long, I don't even remember what he looks like. Alright. He's got a little bit of a stubble beard. Yeah, the mouth really killed this. I'm sorry. We're going to do better. We're going to get it back together. A little chin action right there. Should have known better, folks. Should have known better. You cannot trust a grown man with a TikTok. Does that look like Brian at all? I mean, at all. Can we shade this and get this thing to look anything better? Let's see if we can, folks. Let's see if we can. Focus on that stubble just a little bit. God, Joe, you dropped the ball heavy here. You dropped the ball heavy. This is the one I was supposed to knock out the park. Should have put a damn HVAC system in the background. Yeah, I'm still mad. Hell, maybe it's just as good when I mess them up. I mean, that's how real this is. Even if I mess up, there ain't no, there ain't no cutting that out. We're just going to keep it up in here. Oh, God. If this, was the, if this was the police sketch, this guy would never get arrested. He definitely looks, looks like he's in a little bit of shock, a little disbelief in this drawing. Can't believe they finally caught me. This is only my first time, though. 
After this, I'm going back out there and I'm going hard in the paint. Taking all the money and I ain't finishing no work. I think we're starting to get them back together now. I think we're starting to capture them. Should put a damn TikTok emblem in this picture. That'll make you really, that'll make you really know who the hell it is. A couple bags under the eyes. He ain't sleeping too well up in jail. All right, bring in that hair. Bring the hair. Yeah, I think I did do I, I think I did good. I captured that dumbass look this dude used to always carry around on his face. Oh, Brian number one. I'm still waiting on that HVAC. Let's get the jumper up in there. All right, let's shade this money in. I'm I'm really sorry about this one, folks. I thought I was doing good. Feel like we did pretty good on the first one. Didn't do so good on this one. Well, there's one left. How's that one going to turn out? And it might be the biggest one that we're ever going to do. Oh, tater tot 47. That dumbass nose going. That's, the, that's what I didn't like about this dude was his damn nose. Never liked him because of the shape of his nose. I don't think we did too bad. I got I to gotta talk myself up now. I don't think it's too, too bad. You know what? It's a cartoon rendition of them. It actually looks nothing like the picture. Any way we can, anything we can do here? I don't think there's enough shade in the world to make this look any better. Not at all. Not even close. Moving on. All right, folks. It's do or die right here. This is, this is for all the marbles. First one I thought came out pretty good. Second one, not even close. How are we going to do for Takashi 6 9 He's back, and I'm mad. Big mad. Ha ha. How, I don't know. What's the name of the song? Jambalaya? I just watched a video about this guy supposedly having to leave the house that he was staying in because, you know, he accidentally leaked his address. So, pretty crazy. Regardless of any of that, let's chase a little clout right here. Everybody is feeling this dude. I also watched a live stream from him. Somebody posted it on the After Prison Show fan page. He said his music, his latest song, maybe that Goomba song, got like 5 million views in one hour. My God, we can't even get 30,000 views. Of All right, so we're going to try to do our best to capture this guy right here. Why are we drawing him? Don't ask me. But this is his mugshot. This is from when he got arrested for one of the times it says mugshot from November when he got arrested on racketeering charges, folks. Just looking in his eyes, in his face, you see what you would see with anybody. Absolute fear. And maybe wondering, uh, how, how early is it to begin cooperating? Is there, is there ever too soon? Let's start with the eyes. Sort of basic eyes. Nothing too crazy with those. All right. And his eyes are almost, oh, I already made a mistake. We'll fix that though. These eyeballs are almost completely black. I guess that must be the lighting or maybe he's just the devil. We're going to take our time on this one and really try to do a good job here. All right, so the nose, again, another upward-looking nose, looking almost straight up into the, the nostril cavities. I hate drawing noses like this, but what are you going to do? Oh, that's not Takashi Joe. Oh, you already messed up. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna work on it. Don't worry about that. Come on now. A lot of pressure. 
A lot of pressure. Can you see Takashi yet? Can you see? All right, so the mouth definitely is a distinguishing factor. Big protruding, almost inviting type of lips. So let's see if we can really get those together right here. And he's making kind of a dumbfounded face. So there's the top lip right there. And again, let's really make that bottom lip just luscious. Uh, there's a tooth right there and a tooth right there. And that's all we need. All right, good. We can put that little cleft right there. I think that's what the, I don't know what that's called, actually. I'm not even going to lie. All right, now the eyebrows. He's got some almost manufactured uh, eyebrows. I don't know what I'm trying to say with that, but you can definitely tell manicured, not manufactured, man, manicured eyebrows. How are you a gangster when your eyebrows have been manicured? But I don't think he's a gangster anymore, is he? He gave up that? I also saw on the After Prison Show fan page, somebody posted a video from like some, some 10 year olds talking about did Takashi disrespect the street code? And I saw a lot of people reacting to that video, so maybe we might need to chase a little clout off of that one as well. But folks, before we go any further, let me draw this out just a little bit. How are we doing right here? I'm gonna tell you guys, I've drawn this caricature twice already, and both times, I'll, I'll even show you the two previous ones when we get done with this. Both times I lost it trying to draw the face. So I'm gonna try my damnedest to not do that this time. The shape of the face, so. Just an innocent looking little face. I think I did a lot better on this one. All right, let's get the neck going. Got to save some room for that 6'9 tattoo down there as well. Okay. Not so bad, not so bad. Take your time, Joe. The whole world's watching. Maybe even Takashi himself. All right, now we're going to start putting that hair up in here. All right, so that hair stops like right there. All right. They caught him on a bad hair day. He hadn't had a chance to get his shit together. All right. We want to save a lot of room in the forehead area for those tattoos. This one's actually coming out not so bad, right? Maybe. All right, the ears. Got some big old Dumbo type of ears. But we're not going to go too crazy with those. We're going to try to make this like an actual Mona Lisa portrait. Joe, why do you even care? Bordo, okay. Not doing so bad. Just take your time. We went a little too fast with Brian number one. That's why that came out so, so messed up. Once I throw them tattoos in there, you can't tell me nothing. We got our, we got our mans, like the Fed said. We got our mans. Yeah, we got our mans. Oh, we got you now, boy. Leave a lot of little, little braids right there to throw in some of that Skittle Pox color shit. All right. We're going to stop right there for just a moment. Let's throw in this first tattoo, this six right here, bang, and then the nine, you know, he says in that latest song, I'm back, you mad, I'm not even mad anymore, to be honest, I mean, what you gonna do about it, the dude got out? He's flexing hard. He's got tons of money. Can't even be mad. There's the rose tattoo right there. He's got something tattooed under his eyes, probably like uh, Omerta, possibly. I don't know. I think he's got a spider web over here. Don't know why he's got the spider web. A uh, little butt chin right there. He's got like a little crazy face over here. I don't know exactly what that tattoo looks like, so I'm just going to throw it in any old type of a way. And then let's go ahead and get that other six nine jumping down here I'm back you mad 
It's actually kind of a catchy tune if you think about it. Everybody's bumping that on TikTok too. All the videos. All, all that song. All right, he's got like some angel wings over here. Might be kind of fitting. Okay, am I missing anything? I think we got most of the tattoos. There's some other dumbass tattoos up in here. I don't know what those are. Some other dumbass tattoos over here as well. Bang, we got it, folks. Now, let's go ahead and block those tattoos in right quick. There's that, something going on over here, don't know what it is, the rose. Might as well make it look like a little tulip, who cares, something written right here. I ought to just put Omerta under there, a little spiderweb action. Right there, your little butt chin, your little crazy mask face dude. Oh. And then something else over here, I don't know what that is. We got the 6-9 over here. Yep. Six. I'm kind of dropping the ball. Pick it up, Joe. Pick it up. The wings. There's the wing. One wing. Another wing right there. Bordo! Let's go ahead and blacken that mouth a little bit. All right, so instead of just doing the shading background, we're actually gonna add some color to Takashi. This is my bag of other stuff. I've got markers in here, really nice markers, colored pencils. We're gonna use the colored pencils because I got everything that I need right here. I think I did a pretty damn good job on this. Get rid of all those pencil lines. I hate having to erase pencil lines at this point. If you're a caricature artist, you don't do pencils. But I'm not all the way there just yet. I still got to draw in the tattoos. All right, let's go ahead and start with some skin tone. And we're going to do this color real fast. It's not going to be perfect, but it's definitely going to add a little more to it than what we did on the other two caricatures. And I'm still really mad about that Brian caricature as well. Should have done a lot better on that. I feel like I'm going to end up going two for three, though. So that's not too bad. And again... If you guys would like me to draw anything for you, custom cartoon, custom caricature, please visit APSOfficial.com, show some love, place an order, and I'd love to create something for you guys. No more self-plugging. Doesn't sound like the right choice of words to use right there, self-plugging. All right, well, we damn near got the initial skin tone up in here. He looks like he might have like West Nile virus with this yellow fever going on on him. But hey, it's a cartoon. I'm gonna use a light brown to offer a little bit of depth to his face. Joe, why are you putting so much work in on Takashi? You're putting as much work in on Takashi as he put in with the Fed. Whoa, boy. Takashi think he got him some bars. Bet you everybody making diss tracks about this dude right now. Meanwhile, the entire internet's like, leave him alone. He served his time. And I actually think that he did as well. He made some good points on that Instagram live that he did talking about, yo, you the snitch too. All right, let's go ahead and put that hair up in there. Uh, this color right here is called chocolate. And I think that's going to do it for our hair. Oh, yeah, that looks straight like some dookie. Straight like some dookie. All right, now down here, we'll just add a little bit, not too much. Because we got to save room for that color. Put it up in them eyebrows as well. Got some pretty dark eyebrows. A little more, a little more dark down in this area. Dark down in that area right there. Don't, don't, don't go too crazy, Joe. You'll be quick to lose this image. And by lose it, I mean just mess it all up. A little gray on the tattoos. A 
Not on that one. Hit a little chocolate down there in that nose area. Almost. All right, now my favorite thing, the lips. Got to definitely make those big and lustrous. Is that even a word, lustrous? Mm, nice and pink. Oh, boy. Those are some plump lips there. Those are ripe for the picking. Isn't that how they say it? That would have been nice to hit with the Bob Ross. Let's add a little depth to the lips with some darker red, almost like some lipstick. Who knows? It's 2020. Maybe that's what these rappers are wearing these days. And under the lips, give me that chocolate color one more time. Bang. Oh, yeah. Nice little, nice little depth right there. All right, uh, the final thing, it's gonna be the hair, and it's gonna be this rose tattoo, and that's all red up in there, yada yada. Red, green for the leaves, and the hair. Uh, I think the hair, it looks red here, but I wanted to say it was more pink. Got like just a little bit of everything going on with the hair, so. We'll add a little pink to it, just for shits and giggles, a little pink action going. Okay, a little more red down here. Yep, even some green, cause you know, we don't care. Straight up Skittle pack in the hair. Thought I had a yellow, I don't for the shirt. But folks, that's it right there. I don't think we did too shabby right there. I feel like we're forgetting something, but I think that's it. Folks, that is definitely the best one yet. I'll show you the other ones. Oh boy, yikes. I think this was the first one. <laughs> oh God, that's horrible. And this was the second one. Uh, that doesn't even look anything like him at all. Mm. But that right there though, folks, I think we knocked that out the park. I really wanted to be able to share this video with you guys and attempt to draw three caricatures in this latest drawing mugshots video. I'm sorry that we didn't get a chance to do this like Joe Ross or touch him two times Tommy, but still, I hope this was something that you guys enjoyed. And I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say down in the comments section. So please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you guys thought about this. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace!